Hope you're doing well. Uh, before I get into whatever I'm about to get into, I really want to share this with you. I, that's Valgar's whiskers you're seeing, by the way. <laughs> my kitty. She's my white cat. Um, yeah, I just released an album. So I've been working on this music for, uh, how long now? A little bit over a year. The songs have been written for two years. I, 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 I guess I've been writing in the span of two years, but... Yeah, it's finally out. Um, links are in the description if you want to hear my music. I'm really happy about it. I'm really excited about it. There's some like creative uh, spark in me that is just ignited once again, and it feels so good to be making music. Um, so I'll share that below if you want to check that out. But anyways, I want to get into more of the realizations I make, I've been making from this thing I like to call mindfulness which is, in my opinion, overplayed <laughs> in the sense that, like, I don't know, I feel like, like my whole journey so far has been everything but mindfulness because that's the scary thing. Mindfulness is terrifying at the beginning. Emptying yourself, uh, being, I guess, vulnerable with yourself. I don't know, there's something, there's something about the mind <laughs> that resists sitting still and so yeah uh i think yeah my my journey so far has been everything but meditation because it's such a terrifying thing why is it terrifying i i don't know it's like i've been realizing that for example i need to go and i need to do the dishes or i'm gonna go cook a meal Usually, I would live my entire life with headphones on. I'd be listening to an audiobook or a podcast, something to shut the mind off, something that takes me away from, you know, the present moment. And, yeah, like, I've been noticing, like, why, why am I so afraid of doing the dishes without headphones on? Why am I so afraid of living my life without this, uh, something to, to occupy my mind? I'm, like, afraid of where my mind might go, or I'm, or it's painful to sit in the present moment with nothing and sort of just do the dishes. I don't know, there's something about that. And so I was writing my journal today, um, about this. And then I'm just realizing like how much, how much I've been avoiding presence and in what way I avoid presence and how everybody's just avoiding presence. And to be honest, it is like a terrifying thing because when you completely immerse yourself in the present moment, you begin to see things as they are, which means you realize that you're living this human life and that there's something about you, like you don't feel human. There's something about you that just feels like you're a spiritual being having a human experience, so to speak. And so, yeah, this is kind of how it feels. Here, sorry, my phone is, uh, there we go, making sure it's charging. Um, so yeah, you start to, to see things for, for as they are, which is a terrifying realization because you realize you're going to die and that this experience is finite and that um, and not only that, there's just this insane mystery going on. What is all of this? Why is there something rather than nothing? Why is there existence? What is existence? Why are there three dimensions? Why aren't there four? Why aren't there only two? Why does time move at the speed that time moves? What? Why is, you know, wh why do you see colors the way you see them? And just what, what is it all? It's so... It's like, uh, it's like the first time you take mushrooms or the first time you have an awakening experience, so to speak, where you just start to, you look around and you're like, whoa, you kind of wake up from, from this like slumber that you've been in, um, your whole life. And, uh, yeah, that's, I feel like at the beginning, that's a terrifying thing, right? But once you go deeper, at least this is my experience, by the way. Once I go deeper into mindfulness, I I love it. The clarity, the not even clarity, just the 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 rawness and then and, and the the what feels true about this moment. 
is uh, it's unmatched. Like I can't I can't enjoy the things I used to enjoy as much because like video games or whatever because because they're I don't know they're fun and all I just I I, I just mean like there's nothing sweeter than, than than being present it doesn't matter what you're doing you could be playing video games it doesn't matter what you're doing there's nothing sweeter than just being present and being mindful because yeah again once you get through that uncomfortable layer of like I don't know seeing through the veil so to speak I don't know it's like it's like life feels more real if that makes sense <clears throat> my best example I have is have you ever been and I don't know I've, I've asked a few people this and they're like oh yeah I get that have you ever been listening to a song in your headphones and your favorite part of the song is coming up but then you have a thought and the thought takes you through another thought and another thought. And you're just going through this branch of thoughts and it's taking you away. And then you come back to the moment and you're like, wait, where did that part of the song go? I like missed the whole song. It's my favorite song. And so you rewind. And you're like, okay, I want to hear this again. The song was literally like playing in your ears. The song was there. But you weren't present to take it in. And I would say that the the world has a song that's playing i don't know the the everything has just this beautiful nature has this beautiful song that's playing and if you're stuck in your head you will miss it and there's nothing sweeter than than being in that sweet spot you know and you know this brings me to pain and suffering Another thing that I've realized from mindfulness is that pain and suffering is just as inevitable as pleasure and happiness and joy. These are all parts of life. And obviously, like, I've, I've read this in uh, Patanjali's Yoga Sutra where he, where he talks about, or the Yoga Sutras, whatever it's called. He talk, It's like an ancient uh, yogi guy. <laughs> I don't know much about him. I've just read it and I thought it was fascinating. Uh, but he talked about the idea of attachment and aversion and how that is one of like the facets of ignorance. Ignorance being the thing that's keeping you from experiencing enlightenment. One of those things that's keeping you from experiencing enlightenment, or whatever you want to call it, is the attachment to things so like seeking pleasure trying to, to to seek joy and happiness and just being obsessed with that and then rejecting the pain and the discomfort as much as humanly possible and just like pushing it out as much as you can and uh yeah they're they're like two sides of the same coin so to speak in the sense that once you attach yourself to things then you're gonna also simultaneously avoid pain that's just how it is it's like you don't know what what's good if you don't if you don't know what's bad you have to have both and so you have to have a, a something if you're if you have something you're reaching for then you definitely have something you're running from and these are all human things like these are all normal it's not to judge yourself for it at all but when you're mindful and you notice these patterns within you uh you begin to accept the pain i i like uh Thich Nhat Hanh one of my favorite teachers right now, um, who passed away, I think, at the beginning of this year or last year, something like that. Uh, he just talks about, and I said this in the previous video, like inviting your pain in for tea, <laughs> you know, smiling at your pain, uh, being friendly with it, taking care of it. If you're angry, take care of your anger. Embrace your anger. Treat it like it's, you know, an angry thing that's suffering within you and, and treat it like you care about it. Um... And same goes with sadness, with any negative, discom dis uncomfortable feeling. So I'm having like a lot of trouble talking for some reason. I just pressed record. I had no idea what I was going to say in this video. I just knew I wanted to talk, uh, which I'm glad I did. But yeah, there's, th th there's this tendency 
at least for myself, there's an extreme tendency to run away from my problems. Um, to avoid them at all costs. Um, instantly. And I said this, I think, in the last video too, where I'm just obsessed with figuring out the problem. Um, instead of just being sad. Letting yourself be sad, being heartbroken, letting yourself be heartbroken. Um, it feels unbearable. That's kind of what the what the mind says to you. Like, this is unbearable. I can't bear this. This is anything but this, <clears throat> you know? It's like, uh, like ego death, for example. Like, it's... Uh, it's such a simple concept, right? The, the, the dissolving of the self. But for some reason, that, that little thing of just not identifying as an individual and sort of like your identity spreading out, encompassing all things, that's an unbearable feeling. It's, a, it's just so strange how, how our insides work. <laughs> it's, it's very weird, but... But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just, I'm doing good. Mindfulness is the shit. Uh, I'm not even meditating as long either. I'm just spending more time being present. And it's not, it's weird. It's so weird. I'm trying to explain this. Like, it's not that I'm happier or that I'm any less upset with things and like it's not like I've cured all my problems but in a way I have because I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not living by those those rules I'm not attached to that pendulum of pain and pleasure as much I'm not you know I'm not an enlightened yogi or whatever I just I'm just experiencing like a weird type of freedom that's like beyond happiness beyond joy beyond you know, the good and the bad. It's like, uh, I don't know, man. It's cool. It's cool. Anyways, I forget what I even said. <laughs> I forget. I don't even know what to title this. I'm just, I'm having brilliant realizations from all of this mindfulness stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just felt like I, I would share it. And I probably repeated myself on my last video. I don't even know what I said in my last video, but... Anyways, I hope this is good and it helps you guys and definitely check out the music. Um, it's really, it's a passion project of mine and I'm having a lot of fun. If there's any questions you have on this channel, please send a message and uh, I just want to, you know, if there's anything I could say. At the end of this, it will be uh, watch for that part of yourself that judges other people, but also judges you. <laughs> like, oh, I've been meditating all wrong all this time. How dare I? Dang, I suck for meditating wrong. That's, you know, that's a part of you that's, it's like, I don't know. I, I get caught up in my head and I think that these voices are me, but then when you're mindful enough, when you're present enough, you can see that it's camouflaged so brilliantly. It's, it really feels and looks like you and sounds like you, but it's not you. It's just like a voice in your head, you know? And these things can be unbearable, so to speak, if you're constantly trying to get rid of them. Uh, it's like seeing a ripple in the water and trying to like smooth it out with your hands. You're just gonna, you're gonna make matters worse. It's okay. If you're sitting down and meditating and you suck at it, if you think you suck at it, just listen to that. Just be present with that. As long as you're here, you'll, these, these knots that are within you will start to loosen more and more, you know? So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. I don't know. I have just these thoughts and I deal with it too, man. It's, uh, it's like a constant dance with the ego, which is just, 
brilliant little bugger that is so good at getting you to feel like you're separate from everybody else and that you're alone and that and not only that that you're amazing and that you're and it inflates and it gets big or it gets low and it feels like shit about itself all of it it just it's brilliant at what it does so brilliant that you know i have i've been journaling and i meditate every day and i keep these practices going because you can't just meditate once and be enlightened for life it's like uh there's it's a constant constant practice and it's not exhausting it's not exhausting it's only exhausting if like i said you're trying to smooth out the ripple of water with your hands just let the water chill and it will it will chill on its own you know anyways uh that's all check out the music if you like it let me know i'd love to hear anything and if you want to email me h-u-m-b-o-w-l humble tv at gmail.com you can get in touch with me if you have any questions on this channel please leave it in the comments i'd love to talk if you have any comments if you want to tell me about your life tell me how you are introduce yourself go ahead there's a discord in the description too you can join that it's hasn't been very active but i'm sure that once i upload more and more it will be more active so i hope you're doing well and i'm excited to see you again goodbye